I'm not really the type of person to complain, but just to do a slight headlight replacement on a GT350, you should not be needing all these tools. That is right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we are be doing the GT350 headlights. If you guys have not watched them or seen them from the last video, make sure you guys tap that. Watch that because these headlights are going to be a complete game changer to the front end of the GT350. If you guys don't know anything about GT350s, it is a complete pain and it is so tedious to do literally anything to the front end of these cars for just to take off the bumper guys just to take off the bumper both wheels have to be taken off wheel liners have to be taken out there's a bolt that's right here that you cannot you can barely get to you guys have a whole bunch of plastic clips down here there's an under tray you guys gotta take out the entire under tray and then there's another on top of that six bolts on top so Congratulations for it. They built it to where the front bumper was definitely not coming off. As you guys see, Darla is not here today. Darla is actually getting her complete hood repainted. Finally, 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 finally is getting repainted. And hopefully it matches. Same company that painted it before. I'm not going to say any names. But same company that painted it before is painting it again. But it's a different painter this time. So I... Genuinely, the outcome is probably... Fingers crossed, hopefully not going to be the, how it turned out last time. We'll, only time to tell. So hopefully, they'll be back in the next few days. But until then, we have Shelby. Now, if you guys have been a part of the channel for some time now, you guys know that I take Darla's bumper off quite frequently just because of the, the headlight mess that I kind of ran into in the past that I've always had to keep rewiring them, clean them, take them out several times. So... Taking off the bumper from Darla is actually the easiest thing. It's my go-to thing. It's, I can get it off in maybe five minutes. This, this is just going to suck. One down, one to go. I just not noticed this, but these are the stock GT350 wheels that are giving off this GT350 the perfect fit right now. Both wheels are removed, and we're actually kind of moving along on this, guys. I cannot lie. I cannot lie. We are kind of moving along. Even though we only got the wheels taken off, and we still got the whole fender liner, the under tray, the top bolts on the bumper. We got the headlight, the install on the headlight, the wiring. Yeah, another thing about it, we're not actually moving along. But we do got to, if you guys see these push pins, we got to remove some of these. And I don't think we have to remove the full fender liner now that I'm thinking about it. Because there is just a bolt that right here that we just got to do it to. So I'm just going to remove the bottom ones and kind of just flop it out of the way. Hopefully that works. If not, uh, then we're going to have a world full of not being the happiest because we got to remove this stupid fender liner. But... Let's remove these ones, push this out of the way, and let's get to this bad little bitty right here. That spoke way too soon because clearly it is completely dark outside. And fortunately, but unfortunately, we got the wheel liners taken out, but we had to drop the entire wheel liner to take out all the pins. As you guys see, we got so many of them right there, and we got even more of them on this side. Everything's taken out, the whole wheel liners dropped. The, we got the bumper unbolted, and the clips are taken out. So now all we have to do is just pull this bumper off the lip. I believe we've already taken out everything that we need to do, so we should just be able to pull the lip off. Not the lip, but not the lip, but the lip. You guys, you guys know what I'm saying. I just need to take off the whole bumper. So hopefully we can pull this off without breaking anything. It only took us over a day, but we got the bumper out. And the whole under tray. Guys, this is clearly the next day. It's di daylight out again, so we got the bumper off finally. After all that, um, and, and th no, this sucks. This absolutely sucked. What? Why? Why? It's the front bumper. Just the front bumper. Not not the whole tray. Just the bumper. That's all we need. But no, no, you gotta take off the whole. F you gotta take off everything. On my side, this gives us a good chance because we gotta take. We gotta get a new lip on because that one's cracked. So we might honestly just leave the bumper off, but get the headlights put in, wired them in, and then we also got new axial side uh, side markers for the front. So these will go in. We can swap these out actually real quick. Just it'd be very easy, and I think that'll look good really with the headlights. But the main focus of today's video is these S650 headlights that we need to install. So let's get these unbolted, take these out. And let's swap them over with these S650 headlights. And removing the plastic protector. Oh my gosh, guys, that looks so good. Let me grab. 
It, now these are supposed to have a startup animation. I don't know if it's gonna. I'm praying it works. So I don't know if the wire any wire in anything. I just plugged it in. So let's see if the startup animation works. Bada bing, bada boom. That thing looks so good. Oh my gosh, that just changes the entire front end of the car. So once this bumper gets put back on, guys, I think it's going to look insane. But now we gotta figure out the turn signal. We gotta wire in. Something with this goes in over here. But I don't know what it really is. And I don't know how this is supposed to plug into this. I'm not a wire, I don't do wiring. I don't know anything about wiring. So the chance of this being messed up, pretty high. Boys, it looks so freaking good. The S650 headlights on the S550 body styles, they look insane, but the wiring, I don't even know what to do with. I'm, uh, as you guys know, like with my headlights on my on the wiring job I did, we ain't that good in wiring. So this side has this little crimp tool thing that I'm supposed to crimp it in to where the turn signals go. I don't know how I'm supposed to do that, but here's the bad part. On the passenger side, it doesn't have the crimp tool. It just has an exposed wire. What? <laughs> Why doesn't anything just go right one time? I don't even know what to do with that. And then once we come over here, we're just gonna take a break from the headlights for a little bit, figure out what to do with the wiring a little bit later, and we're going to put these side markers in and kind of black out the front because we got the headlights blacked out and these, they look kind of ugly. So we got these actual blacked out or smoked side marker lights that we are going to be put it in I think that'll look I think that'll look so much better so we're gonna swap these out real quick and we're going to take care of the wiring in a little bit because I'm mm -mm. all right guys we are having the worst time right now Morgan came over thankfully he's helping me but now we have the fog lights put in the headlights are put in everything's working besides the turn so the passenger side works well Besides the DRLs, we haven't put the DRLs into the head. We haven't put the turn signal into the headlight yet. But this side, for some reason, the turn signal is just hyper flashing and it's not even working on the side. And on the inside, it's just showing that it's hyper flashing and we keep having a wiring mess. So, I don't know what's, I genuinely don't know what's going on, but um, this is definitely not the way it's supposed to be going. <laughs> Do you have any clue what's going on with it? It's not connected. That's the fucking problem. And then not be able to get them out where they're in the wrong place. Yeah. Because then we'll what? Blow a fuse then? Blow a fuse. If it's flipped. Blow a fuse or blow a no matter what, the bumper was not going to go back on just because of the lip. We need to take it. I'm not taking the bumper back off just to take the lip off to replace it. But the. Problem is, is these keep coming out. What is this called? I'm just gonna say. These keep the wires keep coming out of the what the connector. The wires keep coming out of the connector, and then we forget which one is hot, which one's not, and what side they go into. So we don't want to blow it up or blow a fuse. It, I don't know. Whatever the wires do, whenever you're not putting them in the right in the right spot. Magic. Yeah, magic it happens, it makes but we don't want that kind of magic. They got the first aid kit in here for the crowds. What? They got the first aid kit in here for the crowds. Really? I swear to God, come look. Let me see. Just in case, crowd emergency kit. Wow. Uh -huh. Especially with the side markers, the DRLs, the new headlights. That, that ignore that like fog light because that one's not even put in no more. Oh my gosh, it's going to look so good. But it is definitely not worth the amount of work that you have to put in to do all this. It is not worth it. In my eyes, it's just not. Found on the road dead. Folks that makes fun of it, it's found on the road dead. That's true. Good evening, sir. Uh, uh, how are you? Not too bad. Not too bad. Got your Mountain Dew. Thank you, sir. Got some sunflower seeds. We're gonna have a ride. Oh yeah, bud. We're gonna go pick up the Darla today. Yeah, we are. I hope it looks good. 
I hope it does. Well, it better because they, they, yeah, they had to. They painted they, your fender. Yeah, I hope they, it matches. <laughs> they repainted the entire the front. The entire front end's repainted now. You know, besides the bumper. Watch it not. Watch it not match the bumper. Now I'm worried about the bumper. Is the bumper gonna match? Because last time, the hood didn't match the fenders. The fenders matched the bumper. So that means if the bumper, and if the hood and fenders match, and they're still the same color as last time, they're not gonna match the bumper. I don't know. From a distance, she doesn't really look that bad. Yeah. I think she looks bumper. pretty good. The only thing I'm worried about is the front bumper. Like that is my that's my main worry right now. Yeah. Is that front bumper? But let's hop out and let's start getting closer. I got ten on, so like, that's why I'm like, oh, I'm gonna get it. Not too bad. No, no man. Way. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get the bumper repainted now. Mm -hmm. It's always something. It's mm -hmm. always something with this car, man. Might it well. is filthy, though. Mm -hmm. And the tent needs replaced to 20 ASAP. Yeah, it man. is filthy, though. Mm -hmm. I don't they remember. They definitely took this on a test drive. I don't remember. He took it on a test drive. I don't remember dropping it off being in that dirty. Um. Well, let's start to get this thing paid for and at least let her warm up for a little bit and see what's really going on. <laughs> and, uh, let's see if uh, they really took it on the test drive. Yeah. Like, they definitely did. It's filthy. Right. right. She's got a floor mat, man. So that's kind of sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, actually, I kind of like it. <laughs> Here, we'll get a Man, that that's that's tough right there. I like that. My halo is purple right now. <laughs> you got one white, one purple. Yeah, I just on the It's not supposed to be like that, my derby. Is it purple still? Mm-hmm. I thought this was Oh, oh, I dude. was, I was about to be like, oh, Bailey, I did not, no, we didn't fucking look it over, did enough, Bailey, I just paid. <laughs> we honestly didn't look it over that much. No, no, honestly, we didn't, even, we just kind of walked past it and was like, oh, okay, cool. You good. did what, you did what I did. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Well, at least now we both got painted vehicles, but now we got to drop this back off to get more paint. Yep. So. And got hopefully getting a boat to finish yeah. the rest of this. This thing looks good. And whenever we did the whenever you get these headlights paint match, oh my gosh, they're gonna look real good. I am I'm, I'm just curious on what his quote's gonna be. Yeah. It's I shit, bet you I it's over a gram. Probably. Probably. For headlights and taillights they're always a, they're always expensive. But hopefully they're not too much, but Yeah. Yeah, so we got much more to come on this and much more to come on Darla. But if you guys like today's video, that's a mosquito. <laughs> that was a huge mosquito. But today's video is over, guys. Make sure you drop a like down below. And me Subscribe. and Bailey. Subscribe. Yeah. Come on. Support the fat guy. <laughs> me and Bailey. <laughs> He's we'll gotta see keep you guys eating. next time. <laughs> Peace.